Alrighty, another day, another sneaker pickup. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and check out the channel. I make a bunch of sneaker pickups, bunch of sneaker unboxings, bunch of sneaker reviews just like this one. Otherwise, let's crack this thing wide open. So, a bit of context, these things come to us from Japan. So these shipped via DHL Express Delivery. I ordered these things about a week ago, um, and all things considered, that's pretty fast coming from Japan, so we'll get more into it later, but this is a pair that actually hasn't released in the States yet. If you guys check out a recent video on my channel, I picked up the UNLV Dunks like 10 days before their US release. Um, and if you can tell by the title of this video, this is a pair of Dunks, and they haven't released yet in the US. Like, so I'm super excited to have these things in hand. As we all know, 2020 was sort of the year of the dunk, and heading into 2021, there are a bunch of dunks slated to come out, so getting them early isn't the most unattainable thing for a regular consumer like me, which is great. Just taking a look at the box, no extras, just the box and the sneakers. So if you can tell by the red Nike sportswear box, they're a pair of sportswear dunks, not a pair of SB dunks, which is important to note if you're new to dunks. Taking a quick look at the size tag, or the box label rather, it's a Nike Dunk High Retro Premium. Colorway is velvet brown and dark russet. Size 9.5, my true size. Let's crack into these things. So the Dunk Retro thing is a 2021 thing. All of the Dunks that released back in 2020 were Dunk Low or Dunk High SPs. I got these things courtesy of GOAT authentication everything checks out so I assume this comes from their fulfillment center over in Japan <laughs> wow these things are sick wow these are awesome these are awesome wow check these things out they weren't kidding about mm, well I actually I'll save that thought because the suede on here is pretty good but it's not as good as I thought it would be Nothing else really on the box, no extra laces or anything, it's just the standard white paper that you'd expect with all their Nike Sportswear stuff. Wow, they look pretty good on camera, I will say. So these released out in Asia at the end of January, I believe it was like January 28th. Following that Asia release, these came out in the EU or Europe on February 6th. The launch date in the US is TBD, so this might be one of the first few, at least sneak reviews from someone in the US on YouTube that has these. So I'm gonna take a deep look at these, break it down a little bit, and uh, we'll come back with some additional information on these. So the first order of business here is loosening these things up because being factory laced, these things come choked up in that box. And I guess while talking about the laces too, they come in a curry color. And unlike a lot of recent dunk releases, these come with no extra set of laces. I've also highlighted it earlier in the unboxing portion, but these are a Nike Sportswear Dunk High. US release date is unclear, but they've already released in most other places in the world. Getting to the sneakers themselves, the uppers on here are in a mostly suede in a warm, autumn-like earthy tone color blocking. These are listed as a Nike Dunk High Retro Premium, and for what it's worth, the materials are somewhat premium feeling. Around the toe, up the eyelets, and through the heel flaps and heel counter is a higher haired suede in a dark curry color. In the inverse spots, so the toe box, mid panels, and ankle are in a velvet brown suede. It's not nearly as shaggy as the curry colored suede, rather it's more of a plush and rich suede with that nice backstroke. To contrast those two colors, the swoosh is in a sort of burnt orange color. The material makeup on here is pretty simple, and overall it reminds me of a lot of something that I'd find on a Nike SB Dunk. I think nowadays there's a decent crossover between SB Dunks and sportswear dunks, with SB Dunks obviously having crazy concepts and stories and material usages, while today's sportswear dunks are more heritage looking with more classic colorways. Resting underneath the laces is a brown nylon tongue, and at the top of that tongue is your standard Nike tongue tag. The inner lining of the sneaker is that same curry color, as is the sock liner. Closing out the sneakers is a white rubber midsole on top of a sail rubber outsole in the standard Nike Dunk traction pattern. These are slated to have a $120 retail price, and for what they are, these things are pretty nice. 
The quality of the materials, and particularly the suede, is pretty nice. It's a step up from any sort of Nike sportswear stuff that you'd see nowadays. I think something that can always use improvement on Nike's end is quality control. There are some visible glue stains here and there, but I guess it's all stuff that you get used to. For these, I definitely recommend going true to size. Materials on here are soft and flexible, so there shouldn't be any sort of tightness. From a comfort standpoint, it's whatever. They're a retro sneaker after all, so don't expect any crazy cushioning or technology. These things are meant for casual lifestyle wear, and if you plan on wearing them in that mindset, you'll be fine. And as an aside, I definitely want to reference some sneakers in the collection that oddly remind me of these things. First off is the Velvet Brown Air Jordan 1, probably because of the name Velvet Brown. These also remind me of the Golden Hops Nike SB Dunk Mids that I picked up a while ago. The video on these is coming, so you can definitely see the differences between the two. And then the overall materials on these sportswear dunks remind me a lot of the materials on some of my blue box SB dunks. Again, I mentioned there is some crossover between the two nowadays, but at the same time, they are two different kinds of dunks. For me, this dark russet pair of dunks is more of a fall and winter wear, but at the same time, there are also no rules when it comes to wearing sneakers. Throw on some white crew socks and shorts, and I think these will look just as good in the summertime. As I mentioned, there are a bunch of dunks dropping this year in 2021, so I don't expect resale prices to be too crazy on these, especially once they release in North America. At the end of the day though, it'll be hard to get your hands on these, so if you're unable to, you should definitely pay what you think a sneaker's worth, and obviously rock what you like. That's all I have for this video though, let me know what you think about this dunk pickup. Are these things worth grabbing, or are you going to pass and use the money on something else? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you like content like this, let me know by dropping a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel. I have a bunch of uploads on the channel already and a bunch in the queue, so be sure to stick around for all of that. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram at StuffDon'tLikes because I'm going there first to share things like this. That's a wrap for this video though, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.